Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. I am Rich. And this is... A gift from Eric Evanson, Magnificent Bastard. Eric Evanson, you Magnificent Bastard. So this is just a hodgepodge of unpoliced words. Kentucky Vintage. Vintage. Okay. Original. Sour mash. Well, sour mash, though, that has well, to be... That's a thing, you're right, but the original handcrafted sour mash, it's like, well, it's, okay, yeah. I mean, sour mash is a process where you take yeah. some of the, watch, you know, anyway. That would be a weird thing to not <laughs> be accurate about. Small but... batch, you yeah. know, yeah. vintage. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. So now, know... they do say in very, very small print, this whiskey has been allowed to age far longer than most whiskeys of its type in the bourbon category. There's rumors that this is around 10 year old bourbon. Oh. This is the same company, this is Kentucky yeah. uh, Distillers. This is the same company that does Noah's Mill okay. or Rowan Creek. Yeah. Otherwise known as Noah Creek Rowan Mill. Mm -hmm. That's just not known as that. It's just, if you ever get them backwards by accident, like I've done multiple times while teaching. <laughs> Hey, that's a nice nose. Ah, yeah, classic. And it, not as woody as I would have thought for an older bourbon. I like Oh, wait, there it is. There's a dryness it's on the to back the end. end of the nose, yeah. yeah. But leading up to that, there's sweetness leading up to that dry... Starts as vanilla black pepper, and then it goes sort of varnishy, sort of wood pile. Yeah. I'm but there's an earth note to that that reminds me of like a garden. So let me put it right here. Based on the bottle, I had very low expectations. They're doing some like sketchy stuff. They don't want to, they were trying to obfuscate what's actually going on. I no. put my nose in here. Damn. Yeah, That's and what's nice funny nose. is, uh, I, it's not that they're obfuscating, it's just that it's trite. They're, they're just being very generic and kind of, we've seen this hundreds of times before. Yeah. People, they, they use buzzwords that people think they want to see on a label. Like, let's use an entire section of the label to say absolutely nothing. <laughs> as many words as possible to say absolutely nothing. Yeah, some honey and some, like a, a grassy farm. Yeah, the grass, the dried grass, dried hay. Yeah. It's strong. Oh, where'd that cherry come from? Yeah, not in the nose. Yeah. But it's in the taste, just bing. Yeah, yeah. Nice, right? Oh, there it is. There's the tannin. It eventually lands there. At the there. very end. So it's 45%. That's not bad. I, I actually enjoy that one. I mean, not remarkable. I would, it's 45% and but I like the nose. The nose yeah. seemed to be a little bit denser and more multi-layered than the taste. There's nothing wrong with the taste. It just doesn't feel as special as what the nose was, was setting me up for. Mm -hmm. But at 45%, um, the hardcore bourbon nerds are gonna feel it. It's a little thin. Vanilla cream, cherry. A little watered down with a little bit of oak tannin on the back. Mm -hmm. Is that fair? And then if you try really hard, mm -hmm. you can find the makings of a little toffee. Yeah. Really? If you're really looking for it. Mm, there you go. Do you want to try it against one of the other ones, like actually like Noah's Mill? No? You know what? So I'm, the, the more, the deeper I get into this, the less impressed I am. The beginning moments of the nose, oh, that's a really nice nose. Yeah. And then the taste, okay, that's like a nice taste. Um, but the finish is a little thin and blah, blah, blah. I can try and kind of find some toffee in there. There's a cherry note. But the more I live with this very quickly, the thinness is becoming more and more present, which I would not expect from a whiskey that had a lot of age on it. I mean, even if it was a little bit lower proof, I would expect some more dense, rich flavors in that, even at 45% ABV. And I'm acclimating to the things that I liked about it earlier in the and then just kind the of thin vanilla and tannin is all that's left yeah a little bit now let's try it uh, the noah's mill which is cask like a 57 or something like that this is percent cask? it's how much higher proof okay i can't i don't get a high proof where on is nose. the proof on this thing oh here yeah 57.15 i'm not getting a high proof on that nose I'm getting a much more present. Uh, I'm not getting the same smell either. The vanilla cream wicker that's the, the, on yeah. the Kentucky Vintage. Well, hold on a second, though. Vanilla cream wicker. I was about to sign on to your tasting notes. Vanilla cream wicker, but I'm getting vanilla cream wicker on this. Go back to this. Vanilla cream is way stronger. Wicker is subtle. This one wickers forward. Well, yeah. So 
wicker on this, but I like the vanilla cream note. It's still there. But here it jumps out. It's more so, like candied. Real quick, let me say this about the, the nose milk. I'm surprised based on the nose. I haven't tasted it yet. Very surprised uh, you said 57%. Yeah. This does not present as 57%. It doesn't taste like 57% either. This, these, in these situations, I'm curious to put a Test little... Test of it. <laughs> yeah, it's like, wait a minute. I'm this... to it. <laughs> I'm going to give it to the nose milk. Oh, yeah. By yeah. a long shot. And they're different. Yeah. yeah. But I think this is pretty affordable. The Kentucky Vintage. Now, after the Noah's Mill, after you mm -hmm. get it in ya, I'm finding the grassiness even more on the Kentucky Vintage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just... It's not bad. It's not it, remarkable. It's meh. Yeah, it's just meh. Meh. It's not bad. It's not amazing. It's just meh. Fair enough. But the Noah's, Noah's Mill, though. Yeah. Compared to this. I like the Noah's Mill. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So, put your nose in the Noah's Mill one more time and think... Uh, Think the Irish whiskey vanilla. Yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah. Jason Rar. So I seen a Tiki Taki. It's called Tic Tac. It's on Tic Tac. It's Tic Tac. All the kids are on Tic Tac. <laughs> of a guy who made it is still out of an Instapot. <laughs> How many MBs want to see Rex and Daniel do this? LOL. <laughs> yeah. It must have been voice to text. Instapot. Yeah. yeah. Spelled W R E C K S. Rex and Daniel. Yeah. 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 Instapot. Huh? I mean, if you can get a, a covering over it to yeah. get the evaporate off, I mean, it's possible. In theory, yeah. It's possible. Uh, <laughs> did you see, we did a, a Tic Tac. Me and Dan and Alex uh, kind of went viral. <laughs> you did a Tic Tac? Yeah. We went viral on a Tic Tac. Really? Yeah. You know, Who has the account? Uh, it's Whiskey Tribe. Oh, we have a Whiskey Tribe Tic Tac? We just start, we started a Whiskey Tribe Tic Tac. How did you go viral? Really? <laughs> yeah. It was like a million views in a day. No! What? Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's at, How? It's at 1.5 now. What? How? The TikTok was only supposed to be to uh. capture and commemorate like the shenanigans and the ridiculousness. Right. Because like we're, sh we're working, we're editing, and it's like we can't want to pull out all the cameras and capture this for a full-on episode. Right. But hold up the dumb phone, and then maybe we upload a couple. So the first time, the first couple we did, it's just nonsense around the office. And then we thought, okay, well, maybe we'd just... Lean in to what we know is popular on Tic Tac. Let's make a little Tic Tac thing that we know is probably going to perform well and see what happens. Okay. And it was the whiskey bang. How you open up a bottle, yeah. bang it, the cork flies out. Right. I was walking people how to do the whiskey bang. Right. It's like a million views in a day. <laughs> it's like a quick tip on opening yeah. up a whiskey. Yeah. All right. And, and this is what you do. Uh, you don't tell people right. that it's fake whiskey. Because right. what you want are those sweet, sweet comments of people going, making the same joke. That's alcohol abuse. Yeah. yeah but as yeah. far as Tic Tac knows, and the Chinese spyware. This interaction. Yeah. People are like, oh my gosh, so many people are watching this and interacting this. And, re and the rewatchability, because yeah. you see somebody do a party trick, it's like, wait, was that real? Yeah. Did that just happen? So. Wow. But, well, I was talking, but we're getting way off topic here. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, the thing with Tic Tac is, and the reason why it was just supposed to be a place to capture shenanigans, and it will be just a place to capture shenanigans. There's no real benefit to having a huge presence on Tic Tac unless you are actively going out and courting sponsors to play that game. And right. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah that's okay, cool. Congratulations. Gotta... That seems kind of no, like a big not, deal. It's not. Congratulations. Uh, want me a million? That's not a big deal. No, it's not. Oh. No, I don't want. What's a big deal on Tic Tac? <laughs> no, like a million's fine. Okay. I mean, it's fine. I don't want to be viral. So I you know, <laughs> saw somebody in the Whiskey Tribe Facebook. It's like, careful, man. And you know, once you go viral, you go on that fast track to becoming an e-cam girl. <laughs> you and I have zero interest in our videos blowing up. Yeah. Outside the um, content needs for the business and the community. Yeah, we don't want to be any more than volleyball famous. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Have we? We explained. We've talked about that. Oh, yeah. I think at some point we talked. Yeah, about that. but to get recognized at the Costco. Yep. No. Nope. Thanks for watching. Yeah. That doesn't really make me feel like I'm doing a good job. It I want to be nervous. Yeah. It's like, who's like I, watching me? I can't do anything. <laughs> I want to do some shady shit. Yeah. Who's watching me? I want to steal a candy bar. <laughs> I want to beat up that kid. Yeah. <laughs> that kid had it coming. <laughs> Gnome Dirty Daniel. All right. Gnome Dirty Daniel. I'm waiting for the day when Rex throws his head back and just pops off, and then Daniel just continues the episode with his head on the table. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, Pam! <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, we should get bobbleheads though. Oh, I would do a bobblehead. See, I would kind of fun. Bobblehead like that, and then what do you do? I don't know. What would my bobblehead be? You would be. This is you just wandering around. <laughs> yeah, just mine. Just go. No, mine has a little button that you push, and it says it's around here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, we stopped. We stopped talking about the whiskey a long time ago. Yeah, but the vintage is. I, there's nothing else to say about it because it's so meh. Yeah. I know it's. Noah's Creek Mill, on the other hand, it's classy. The no, the no, no, Noah. You know why it's good. Noah Rowan Mill Creek. You know why it's good though. Yeah. Because it's vintage. Mm. Here's the fighting, He's stealing, and drinking. It's small batch. If you fight me, a fight for a friend. You steal me, you steal <laughs> you. Sorry. And if you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. us.